Hi, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we are continuing with the water resources chapter, and I have an example on Manning's equation. Before I move forward, I remind everybody every time, as you know, if you are at the beginning of your journey and you're trying to evaluate your education in the United States of America, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. So click the link below and you'll be able to download it for free. I have another free resource, which is about simply supported beam, how to draw a shear moment diagram. And if you're just starting out, this is a very good resource for you. Now let's move on with our example. A circular conduit diameter 600 millimeters has Manning coefficient n equals 0 0.015 and longitudinal slope s equals to 1%. Normal depth of flow occurs in the conduit at a depth of 240 millimeters. What is the flow rate? As the problem states, uh, the problem gives us the Manning's coefficient. So we would right away go to uh, Manning's uh, equation. And this is what I'm going to do. Let's go to the FE handbook. And if you type here Manning's, it's going to redirect you to this equation. Let's write this formula down and go from there. Now, the problem also states that normal depth of flow occurs in the conduit at a depth of 240 millimeters. So now let's, I'm going to draw, to draw our pipe. And this is our diameter, which we we'll do diameter, which is 600 millimeters. And then our flow is somewhere here. And this is D equals 240 millimeters. So this is what the problem is giving us. Now, in order for us to calculate the area of flow, the hydraulic radius, we will have to uh, look into the hydraulic element graph for circular sewers. And if you go to the handbook and you just type hydraulic elements, it will redirect you to this table. And this table provides us a few values for uh, area of flow, hydraulic radius, given this ratio, depth to diameter. So in our case, D over diameter, equals to 240 millimeters over 600 millimeters, and that equals to 0 0.4. So going back to the FE handbook, at 0 0.4, right? We can just draw here a straight line. And then here we need the area of flow over area. Let's look for it. This is the this is the curve and where it does intersect here, this line. Meaning that area over area of flow is. I will go to 0 point approximately 37. And the same thing we need to do with hydraulic radius. The same at this depth 0 0.4, hydraulic radius over here, and it's this one intersects this line. If we go down at also approximately, I will say 0 0.87. So now having these two, we can calculate the area for our formula to you into Manning's equation and hydraulic radius for Manning equation. Let's go back and write this down.
So we have area over area of flow equals to 0 0.37. And also we have the R over RF equals 0 0.87. What we know is that area of flow equals to the area of this circular pipe, and this would be pi times d squared over 4, and this equals to pi times 0 0.6. I am transforming 600 millimeters into meters. And the reason is because when applying the Manning's equation, the area is required in meters. So we'll have diameter squared over four. And this equals to zero six squared pi multiplied four divided. 0 0.283, 0 0.283 meters squared. And same thing here, we know that RF for a circular pipe, it would be the area of the pipe over the entire perimeter of the pipe. And this would be PD squared over four. The perimeter of the pipe is actually the length of the circle and the length of the circle two pi R, the radius, or we can also write it as pi times D. So I will do pi times D equals to so in this case, we have, can do this. So resulting that hydraulic radius for this pipe, if it was filled out with water, right? It would be D over four, and it is equal to 0 0.6 over four, and that is 0 0.15 meters. So now, knowing these parameters, we can calculate from here the area that we need in order to calculate the flow, calculate this area. So this area would be equal to 0 0.37 from this equation over here. 0 0.37 times AF, which we have calculated it times 0 0.283. So 0 0.283 multiplied by 0 0.37, I get 0 0.105. 0 0.105. Same thing over here, we can calculate the hydraulic radius equals to this little guy, right? we can have 0 0.87 times RF, and we just calculated our hydraulic radius of flow if the pipe was filled with water, and that is 0 0.15. So we get 0 0.87, 0 0.15 multiplied, we get 0 0.1305, 1305. So now knowing these parameters, we can go back and apply them into Manning's equation, K over N. I will just write this down again, just to have them here closer. RH two thirds times S, equals. Okay. Let's talk about each component, K. If you go to the formula here, and just remember we're working in millimeters, 
to the man to Manning's equation, go down here, k is given, it's a constant and it is 1.486 for US units and one for SI units. We're uh, working in SI units, so is one. So this k equals one. N is given here in the, in the problem. 0 0.015. So let's start and replace everything that we know. So it's going to be one over 0 0.015 multiplied by the area, which is 0 0.105. We just calculated there multiplied by the hydraulic radius, which we have calculated here to two thirds, and multiply by the slope, which we already know it's 1% giving in the problem, one over two. Okay, so this is one equals. Let's replace and calculate Let's calculate this. So I'll have 0 0.01. I have 0 0.1305. Then we multiply this too. Then I have 0 0.105 multiplied. 0 0.015 divided. And I'm getting 0 0.1800. 0 0.1800. Nine. And these are meter cubes over second. And the closest one is going to be D. That's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps people like you find me. As always, keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.